CBS is a great place. I love my classes. The crowded library, the hand sanitizer. I even love Yuris Deli. Those two for one hot dogs, my favorite. But I hunger for something different now. That's him, Mike Davis. I was certain before I came in here that he was a repeat offender, but it's always nice to have a game time validation. Second floor. Need a powerful sedative on short notice? There's usually an old sock or two in the rugby locker. I thought you'd never wake up. Yo, Dexter? Is that you, man? Yo, what the fuck? What am I doing here? So many questions, Mike. <clears throat> dude, are, th are those my pants? Uh, okay, that's my ID. Uh, dude, you know that shit costs 20 bucks to replace. Man, wh what are you doing? So your locker's on the second floor, huh? Yeah, what's your point? A lot of stairways available. You don't really like taking the stairs, do you? Yeah, so I take the elevator. What's the problem, man? Using the two button is extremely douchey. Dude, Dexter. Dexter, man, what are you doing? Dude, I'll give you anything. What are ah! you <laughs> My name is Dexter Morgan, and I am a serial killer. Which, incidentally, makes me an ideal candidate for investment banking. Hey, what's up, man? Want pounds of beers this evening? Not as much as I want to pound your face. Ha 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 ha! All right, see ya. I wasn't always this way. Everything changed after I heard a speech about the community contract during orientation. Now, in conclusion, the community contract is the glue that holds CBS together. Everyone is responsible for enforcing the community contract. Enforcing the community contract. The community contract. Ever since, I've been following what my PA said. Enforce the community contract. How do I enforce it? I kill those who don't adhere to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, catch you later. Take it easy. That's my own little twist. Take Jenny Matthews, for example. Using her Blackberry to check emails during class. Where's the respect? Does she think the professor doesn't see her? Hey, next. Hey. I have a message for Jenny. But this time, no one's gonna see her get it. Ugh, and when guys like Doug Fenster decide they can cut the line at happy hour? Surely someone has to show them that it's not okay. This situation calls for some discretion. Ugh. Oh, dude, it smells like shit! You cut the line. Now I'm gonna cut you. I guess you're wondering why I never get caught. Well, the truth is, no one seems to miss these people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. There's no reports, no investigations. Hello? Another offer? Can I get back to you in a week? I have four others. That was pain. See, I don't kill people because I enjoy it, per se. Hello? Hey Sandy, it's Dexter. Oh, hi Dexter. Yeah, look behind you. I kill people because the school's better off without them. Hey Sandy, it's for you.
With the student body virtually decimated, it's been pretty quiet around here lately. But it's my latest prey that I'm most excited about. I've been after this one for months. I have a confession to make. I've never wanted to hurt anybody as much as I've wanted to hurt you. You've caused pain to so many. You've created an environment of fear in the CBS community. I've seen what you do, and it makes me sick. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. Let's see how you like getting whacked in the nuts. I'm not like other B-School students, but I do add value in my own way. And I'll never get caught. Not while I stick to my code. Not while nobody misses the dead. Hey! Has anyone seen the library turnstile? Shit. <laughs>